So look, bro. Another reaction video. Um, I'm happy we're here. I ain't been on this channel in a couple days, or probably like a week and a half, and that's gonna stop. I promise y'all. From now on, we gonna get at least three videos, folks. I ain't even gonna put a number on it. I'm not for to do that. But look, I was excited to do this video for the simple fact it's about the bloods in Hawaii. I went to Hawaii. A lot of y'all know that, like a year ago, a little under a year ago, and uh, I didn't like it. At all, bro. The weed was garbage. I couldn't find no real stores. I didn't see no fine one. Like, probably because I was in Honolulu. They was like, you got to go up. Like, how was I supposed to know, bro? I'm going to the popular places that people rap about. You know what I'm saying? Then they got islands on there that I can't pronounce. <clears throat> of course, because I'm not Hawaiian, but still. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we finna get to this video, though. This, uh, this is the video I've been wanting to see. And I think y'all is gonna like it. It's two o'clock in the morning, bro. Let's go. Man, y'all come visit Camp Four, y'all gonna die. Y'all come with disrespect, y'all. See, see, what's that? Why he saying that to cameras, bro? <clears throat> and see, a civilian saying like, if y'all come over here, y'all gonna die. See, one of the hitters, like, bro. I will catch you slipping. Man, y'all come visit Camp Four, y'all gonna die. Y'all come with disrespect, y'all gonna die. Just hours after we finished filming, someone was shot right where I had been doing interviews. Honolulu police have opened an attempted murder investigation after a man was shot in Kalihi. Kalihi. When you think of Hawaii, you think of picturesque well, landscapes, like lush that. rainforests, waterfalls, and beautiful beaches. One of the last things that might come to your mind is gang affiliations. But did you know there are numerous blood and crypt territories in Oahu? Gang banging in Hawaii has been around since the 1970s. It all started. I like him. Brandon, I like you, bro. <clears throat> you really getting in depth and you put some history behind it. I be liking to do video. Mind you, let me keep it 100. I'm not finna go do no hood vlogs, cause that's what this is, even though you don't think it, you know what I'm saying? It just, I'm not. If I don't like you, it's gonna show, and I'm not gonna act like I like you for the camera. And I know for a fact, if I keep traveling from hood to hood, state to state, country to country, I ain't gonna like some of these fools, and it's gonna look, go left, you know what I'm saying? And I'm in they hood, so I'm automatically out of bounds. I'm automatically outnumbered. I ain't trying to put myself in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Started in Kalihi with the Bloods Braves gang out of Camp 4 Hollywood and the Sons of Samoa Crips out of Cohio Park Terrace. The in the late 1970s, Crips. the original Bloods Bro, called what the state you had doing? been neglecting their public housing projects. So to send a message to the local politicians, five residents carjacked the Honolulu City bus and took the police on a seven hour car chase before ultimately crashing it off Interstate H1. On this is how bus? the Camp 4 Bloods got the name Home of the Braves, AKA Braves Gang. In 2023, the two most prominent blood territories are the Mayor Wright Housing Projects and Kalihi Valley Homes, aka Camp 4 Hollywood. While the two most prominent Crip housing projects being Kuhio Park Terrace, aka KPT, and the 99th Street Halava Mob Crips. I first heard about the gangs of Hawaii when I saw- Yeah, see, that right there would've probably got me shot in Hawaii, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Look who he said it was. For Hollywood. While the two most prominent Crip housing projects being Kuhio Park Terrace, aka KPT, and the 99th Street Halava Mob Crips. If somebody was like, bro, this Halava Mob Crip, and I'm visiting Hawaii, bro, I would have started laughing. I'm from LA, like the Mecca of gang banging. You know what I'm saying? It would have just sounded funny, and it wouldn't have been like no disrespect to y'all hood or nothing. It just would have sounded like the last thing I would have expected up in Hawaii is to get banged on by a Hawaiian Crip. You know what I'm saying? And they would have took it as this. You see, there's gangs everywhere, bro. There's gangs everywhere. These Hawaiians. I first heard about the gangs of Hawaii when I saw music videos by up and coming Camp 4 rapper out. Juice, aka Junta. His videos are rife with energy, red bandanas, and a side of Hawaii I hadn't even heard of before. Junta grew up in Camp 4 and raised himself since the age of 13, telling me that his home wasn't a stable place and he only had his mud brothers through it all. So for this episode, I ventured to the Camp 4 housing projects to meet up with Junta and his friend BG Bucks to find out firsthand what life is like as a blood in Hawaii. Mm. This one five four BG blood on gang East Side Paru blood. So what? L A is crazy, bro. And the reason why I say that, bro, the influence is crazy. They they got a documentary. I want y'all to go watch that. <clears throat> Matter of fact, don't watch it, bro. We gonna watch it on live stream tomorrow. 
but they got a documentary with all the Crips, Bloods, GDs, Hovers, Latin King, all in the army, bro, in Baghdad, in the desert together. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they homies, they in the tents, they fire. They went up in the bathroom, bro. You see tagging all on the wall. It looked like it's the U.S. out there, but they're in the middle of nowhere. Mind you, they all the army, the U.S. army, bro. So we supposed to be one, but that's not the case. You go up in there, you see people whacking on each other's hoods, bro, putting their hood name up there. And then y'all got to go fight together. To... The influence of gang banging is crazy, bro. And I said it before, I was like, I was like, at like hoods, bro, they spread all over the world. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what city you go to, what state you go to, what country you go to, you're going to find somebody banging the L.A. hood, right? And then I was like, L.A. hoods, it's like, we don't do that. You can't come out there banging another hood. And some of y'all fools was like, well, ghost, what about BPS? Do your history, fool. Yes, the BPS jungles came from the Black Peace Stone to Chicago. Two different movements, bro. Two completely different movements. I'm talking about gang banking. For real. Yeah, y'all was wrong. One person is dead garbage. after an overnight shooting in Kalihi. It happened in the same area of a deadly shooting just last month. Police are still investigating a deadly shooting Kalihi, here at Kalihi bro. Valley Housing. This Don't came in go around 418 this morning. Do you guys consider this like one of the most dangerous hoods in Oahu? Fuck yeah. <laughs> nah, not gonna lie. Nah, 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 it's dangerous hoods in Oahu, no, but dangerous hoods in Hawaii. Ooh. Yo. Yo. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I better not get hit with the copyright. But listen, the danger, most dangerous hood in Hawaii, bro. Everybody visit. Well, we got a plan on visiting there. When we go there, I promise you, if a female said, come meet me at the Kalihi Projects, I, the last thing any of us thinking is like, bro, I ain't going over there. It's cracking. I ain't fair. We in Hawaii. We over there with the quickness. You know what I'm saying? Then you find all them blood niggas over there, all them Hawaiian niggas, you, 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 you. It's everywhere, bro. I know the Hawaiian Bloods, the Hawaiian Crips, the Crips, the Hawaiian Crips, or whoever gangbang in Hawaii, they got to prove a point a lot, you know what I'm saying? They do, because off top, we not going to think they with it. I'm keeping it 100. It's no disrespect to them. The reason I don't like Hawaii because I couldn't find a good tree. Other than that, it was cool. And then everything set, like it seemed like it tastes like a, like it got a pineapple in it. I'm not lying on that one. But yeah, it, it'd be hard to respect the gang bag on Hawaii. To, it'll be Hawaii until you actually see it. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. The other one was trash. Okay, guys, today we're at the Cam 4 Housing Projects in Oahu. One of the most dangerous hoods in Hawaii. We're going to be doing some interviews, seeing what life is like in the hoods right here of Oahu. Hey, we, we in uh, Camp 4 Hollywood. Straight home of the Fight. place, bro. <laughs> Wait, Who am I here with? You got Bucks. Juice. Call me Juice. Huh? What's it like growing up here? Uh, it's pretty nervous. difficult, to be honest. People struggling out here, too. You know, this the hood. <laughs> this the hood, man. Over here is a different story. This is the other side of the... They got clothes hanging on a line in the back. I ain't seen that since 1994, bro. I'm not lying. You ain't living like that in L.A. no more. So now, that's what I'm saying. These hoods be... These hood vlogs be a little important, bro. When he say they living in the hood, I gotta believe him because they got clothes hanging on the line, bro. Do that today. Anywhere else, them clothes are getting stolen. They're getting stolen. You know what I'm saying? The island that most people don't see. Damn, you don't hear about our shootings memories. either because they tried not to broadcast that much shit because they would fuck up their tourism type shit. Yeah. It's BG, dog. <laughs> there ain't no BG around the world. West to the east, we all there, bro. That's like that hood down there, that's like Crips, straight Crips. 
That's the get the SOS, the hard knocks, get all those niggas. And up here is like Eastside Power Rules, Bloods, you know? That yeah, is crazy. Bloods bro. and Crips all the way in the fucking Hawaii. Yeah. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. We're from the Braves, bro. Braves gang. This is home of the Braves. If you recognize the project housings, this is one project housing. Going down. I just thought of something. Because, okay, everything we get coming on the boat, right? I could say like 90, I can't even put a percentage. I know like high 90s, 80s at least, everything we get in the U.S. come on the boat from other countries. But 100% for sure, everything they get come on the boat, bro. These fools is literally on an island. It ain't no doing a crime in Hawaii and then going to... Getting driving or getting on the bus and going to Atlanta, going to LA. Bro, you have to get on the plane. You're going to get gaffled up in car. You are stuck on the island. That's crazy, bro. I wouldn't even try to do no crime in Hawaii. It's. You stuck on the island. Down, straight down to the next project housing. Ops. Down the street Ops. is Den of Thieves type shit. <laughs> no, no, Kizzy. They, they, Den of Thieves down in um, Cohill Park Terrace. They. KPT. KPT stands for Cohio Park Terrace, a housing project just 1.2 miles down the road from Camp Ford that reps the rival color blue for their loyalty to the Crips. For years, the neighboring projects have beefed back and forth, getting in street fights and posting the videos online to YouTube. Police and public housing officials are... Was he fighting a girl? Hold on. He, he starts swimming, and I know y'all know the, 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 the swimmers. They head down the, the knot, the niggas that don't know how to fight, basically. Was he one of those, or was they was dude fighting female? Getting in street fights and posting the videos on to YouTube. Police Nine and feet. public housing officials are struggling with the recent increase in violence in Kalihi, and now some say the internet is helping stoke that rivalry between housing projects. Social workers say that these obviously well-planned fight events are promoting an attitude of violent rivalry and could be creating an atmosphere that will encourage more people to join gangs. <laughs> a subtitle on this video describes it as a scrap between Cam 4 Housing and KPT, Cahill Park Terrace. Note the red cloth, gang colors, on one fight. A tradition that is now fading as the new generation resorts to picking up weapons. Brandy, you killing me. <laughs> I get the point of you doing it, but this shit look hella funny. You killing me, bro. So instead of fighting with their hands. Because Hawaii's known for just running them hands, bro. Anybody that want them hands can get the smoke, but shit. Lately, this generation be different because everybody want to use weapons and shit, so everybody had to adjust. Yeah, Some niggas want to bust a, act like they're going to run hands and then out of nowhere they just like pull up their shirt and they bring shit. out a fucking machete. Chop your arm off type shit? It only gets to this deep where that shit start hanging and shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. No, nah, they're serious. Like, nah, I believe you, bro. Jokes, bro. Like, if they see that type of shit on the news, what's going on, they're not, they're yeah, not gonna wanna come to wanna Hawaii. Who would wanna come over here if they really understood, like, what we but go like, through? I don't know. And that's the reason why I said we look at Hawaii like, yeah, right. We look at Hawaii, look, y'all ain't gonna do shit, bro. We look at Hawaii like y'all fake game banging. I'm telling you because, like you said, the news don't broadcast it, so get out there. I'ma just, they run up on you, talk about some crib. I'ma just be like, bro, did you come out here and get stuck out here and can't get back home? Like, it ain't no cribs in Hawaii, ain't no blessing. That's why I be saying these documentaries is important, bro. Because, like he said, Hawaii, they tourism, the island, they get most of their money for the tourists, bro. I'm being real, you ain't got no tourists coming to Hawaii. That shit just gonna be a big ass fish tank. <laughs> Ain't going to be no money flowing out of that book, you know what I'm saying? So if you broadcast it, people going to want to, they ain't going to want to come. You got people that live in dangerous neighborhoods that save up money to get away, to go to Hawaii. They don't want to go out there and it's cracking still like it is or like they back at home type shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't. Oh. What up, bro? He's got shot in the hood. Yeah. Like, what, 2019 in the same year? Got shot in here? Yeah, yeah. they got shot at the top. With only about 1,500 residents at Kalihi Valley Homes, this nearly half a dozen people have been me. killed there in recent years, including Junta's friends, Starsky, Baby, and KFAT. The friend Junta is speaking of is 16-year-old Starsky Willie. Six people in a few years, 
in, in the States, that ain't bad, but I guess that's bad for Hawaii. He was gunned down inside the Camp 4 housing projects. Later in the video, we visit the site where Starsky tragically took his last breath. What is it like to, to walk outside your front door and know like just 100 feet away one of your friends got shot? That can't be a very safe feeling. Nah, for us, it's like, it's understandable because like, niggas die every day. B. And they, they think that over here be like the same thing, like it's all good, but really, really, we feel that type of traumatic and PTSD type shit. Sometimes it trips you up because you know how you feel when you see a brother down. It's trippy how you, you don't cry at his funeral anymore. Like you just, it's you just so used to it. You don't even tear anymore. Shit's like crazy, bro. No, it's that four, dog. Hollywood, yeah, nigga. Bro, that's that four family. <laughs> you want to drink with this? I'll drink, drink with Nigga, take sure. a shot, nigga. <laughs> Where to? Hey. <laughs> Shit, hey, buddy, about to Where take a to? shot. Where to? Look at it. He about to go ahead and hit that bread. And he don't want to drink, but you got to be cool. Nigga, to pull a machete out on him. The thing he said about the funerals, bro. After a while, after a while. <clears throat> A lot of people gotta understand when you gang banging, all right. Everybody from your hood is your homie, but they not your friend. Understand what I said. Today you can't be from nowhere, all right. Today you're not from nowhere. Well, this morning you're not from nowhere. At one o'clock you decide to get put on. Mind you, these fools not from your gang. The fools that you don't know from whatever gang you're trying to get put on, they not your homies at six o'clock in the morning. Come one o'clock, you get put on. The fools that you don't know from that game that you got put on, they're your homies now. Automatically the homies. Don't mean they're your friends. They're your comrades. You know what I'm saying? They go to war together. See, you got some food, bro. I got you with the wood. Just homies, right? With that being said, fools still kind of like strangers, bro. When homies get smoked left and right, left and right, you know him. Mind you, you know him, that's the homie. You go to funerals back to back and homies keep getting smoked, bro. You get crocodile tears at the point, which means you get nothing. You know what I'm saying? You have no tears and you get immune to shit. It's not like your mama dying, boom. The next day, your twin brother dying, boom. The next day, your daughter dying, boom. All three of those funerals you crying, but not when it comes to this gangbang shit. Them just the homies, you know what I'm saying? You you, you become immune to your homies getting smoked. You do. Hell yeah. I don't for the streets, right? Yeah, yeah. What the, the hell streets. is that? For the break. Yeah. Bro, he got yeah. hurt. Yeah. Uh, Brandon, go to the yeah. Brandon, yeah. Brandon, Brandon, go to the That one too, bro. You gotta you gotta do double. You gotta do double double. I gotta oh, do double. No. Is that Hawaiian style? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you oh, drinking after the food? What's the, the drink of choice here? <laughs> drink of choice? Hey, what's the drink of choice, Suave? Corona, dog. <laughs> Corona? Ooh, E&J. Hennessy and, and marijuana. They're in the hood for sure. And to y'all in Hawaii, don't bring up hope, don't bring up marijuana, nothing. I have fools. Listen, I'm not lying, I got the proof. I vlog my trip in Hawaii. You put up DJ Ghost Vlogs, my vlog channel will pop up. Watch them. I have fools coming from three different islands to bring me weed. Ghost, you out here in Hawaii, the home. Like, I call y'all my homies, my subscribers, my fans, my supporters, whatever you want to call it. They all bringing me weed from different islands, bro. They don't even know each other. They stay 30 miles apart, 40 miles apart, coming just to bring me weed. I love that. For some reason, all these fools brought me the same weed. That's how I knew this all the island got. I was so disappointed and nobody to Ghost, the weed made the trip disappointing? Yeah. Ain't you a foodie if all the food nasty on your vacation? Wouldn't you hate the shit? Damn, don't you drink Hennessy? Don't you drink uh, uh, Casamigos? You get there, all they have was four locos. You'll be mad, right? I smoke. Shit. Nigga, they didn't have no good ass weed. All they had was garbage weed and ABC stores. ABC stores on every corner. ABC store, ABC store, ABC store. I was disappointed out there, bro. That kind of, that not kind of killed my vacation. It killed my vacation. Nah, I still smoke. I ain't gonna lie. That's all I had. That's all they had. I'm not finna sit right here and say what I do with it. Throw it away off the bat. Well, when I left, I, I smoked it. I did. But I ain't found no good tree. And if everybody out there think it's good tree, that's cause 
They ain't had no good weed. That's all they're immune to. Man, I thought they was gonna have that tropical that. Y'all, I've been hearing about Maui Waui for the Maui Waui for the last 15 years. They got at the shops out here. I thought I'm gonna go out there and get the real. I got the fake. I got. <laughs> they need to step it up with the tree in Hawaii, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Y'all drink hand dog out here? Hell yeah. yeah. You already know. Oh, right shit. Now. You drink anything out here, bro. As soon as he said yeah, he put up a, sand, a can that said cap. Yeah, right. no. Y'all drink hand dog out here? Hell yeah, yeah, you already know. Cap. Shit. You drink any <laughs> anything out here, bro? For real. When the island boys came down and they said Waikiki K. Y'all scared up, man. Waikiki K. Waikiki K. <laughs> Whoa. Just understand that Waikiki. <laughs> Waikiki. Ain't no fucking city or nothing to anybody, bro. That's a tourist spot, bro. Yeah. This is in the hotel? Yeah, bro. That's not the hotel. Exactly, bro. I was like, bro. They so, where I was at was, uh. Damn. They was telling some shit about the Waikiki. I was, in, I was on a major strip. Like, y'all got a major strip out there. I was on a. I was on a. And this is the hotels, bro? That's crazy, bro. Them island boys. Like, what the fuck, nigga? What, what would happen if the island boys pulled up here? Nah, island boys come through here, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. They're gonna run up. They're gonna be running out the back, back gate naked as hell, bro. <laughs> Take the drawers. <laughs> like, we on some psychological yeah, warfare. Strip, type shit. Yeah, war too, bro. They would got stripped. Youngsters would see them like, oh, that's a lick, you know? <laughs> that's money right there. They, free they lick. The After a few drinks, I asked Junta what he did for fun growing up. And he took me to the old closed down rec center and basketball courts that he used to play in as a kid. There used to be a, a, a playground or a park right oh, here? This, this is like a little court. This is a little court down here. Up, up there was like the hall, study hall. We used to come elementary, come up here, play inside, pool table, all of that, you know? It's like a teen center, like for kids and shit, bro. But it closed down. The state still didn't do shit about this, you know? They'd rather you see us the the next, That's man. why, like, the kids, they're so into other shit because they, they don't have stuff, stuff like this to keep them busy and shit. You feel like the kids growing up here don't have an outlet to express no, themselves? they don't, you know? They don't. After a little research, I found the news. That's facts, bro. And then you got to blame it on the community sometimes, too. You can put up a new basketball course at the park, benches and all that type of shit. Then you got people going up there, stealing the nets, tagging on the back backboard, tagging on the benches, bro. Can't even see the chest marks no more, like. It's a true fact that people really do mess it up for other people, and I hate that. You know, it's um, the reason why I bought the basketball court is because I'm putting together something to do. Three parks out here with brand new basketball courts, and just just light them up. You know what I'm saying? With professional courts, and um, the shit I've seen up in the past. I hope they don't do mine out there, cause that's really like the kindness of my. They don't have no jungle gyms no more, bro. Every park, all they have is slides for little kids. People from the age of, kids from the age of 11 and 16 have nothing to do, bro, but walk around and chill and try to talk to females and play video games. I'm telling you, man. ...segment from about 10 years ago where they talked about the closing of the rec center and how they had plans to rebuild it. Engineers determined the rusting roof and sagging structure was unsafe, and the gym's been closed for the past two years. But residents also worry about the safety of these kids without a proper place to play. The decrepit gym exactly. is just one of many problems at this public housing complex. And if the gym at Kali Valley Homes can be repaired, it will be. If not, a new one will have to... For two years, bro. That's what I'm saying. When it's up in the ghetto, when it's up in the hood, whatever you want to call it, the city don't give a fuck. You go over there, bro, you got... Holes in the ground in the street that's probably a foot, not even a foot, I'm over exaggerating, six inches deep. Cars getting jacked up over there, bro. You got sewers, the tops on the sewers is real loose. You got fire hydrants that's dripping water. You know what I'm saying? It's rust all around the, you got rust all around the fire hydrant where an eight year old, a nine year old can easily walk home, touch it, boom. You got grass growing in the concrete, my nigga. And you spend all the city dollars on the police to patrol that neighborhood. As bad as it look, you got hundreds of thousands of dollars of police over there because you got two of them on every block trying to catch somebody doing something. It's backwards.
You mean to tell me they can't put that gym bit up in there for up in that apartment complex for two years? They couldn't fix that. How many? How many? How many units is up in there, bro? Playing at least eight hundred, nine hundred, eleven hundred dollars a month. Y'all can't fix the gym for these kids up in here, bro. Two years, my nigga. Not even that. We gonna keep it closed. We just ain't gonna tear down the building. We gonna really make it look trash over here because we ain't gonna do nothing. It's rusting at the bottom. Y'all can look at it and say, oh my God, we are left to play up in there, but can't. These are kids, they don't under, I, man, bro. They treat the ghetto bad everywhere. Maybe if y'all show us, we get, <laughs> y'all show us y'all gave, then we'll give, you know what I'm saying? Cause it, it, it's, it's hard, bro. That place stay open for, I mean, stay uh, closed for two years. At some point, Two and a half years, they gonna start selling dope out that motherfucker. This is the bando now. And show us y'all care, we show y'all we care. We wouldn't do that to them. Hey, bro, the kids play right here, man. Don't be selling that shit over here. If the gym was open. They don't even try. To be designed bro. and then built next year. With over a decade since this clip aired, nothing has been done to repair or rebuild the closed down rec center. So with few. He said next year, and old boy just said a decade. Oh, it's for entertainment. I got to see how the kids of Camp 4 improvise for fun on a Friday night. Are all these kids listening to dr drill music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they getting sturdy? Are they getting sturdy? Yeah, bro, from the East Coast to the West. Look at that, look at that. Bro, they're emoting on us. Hey, where you guys from? Where you from? Where you from? Where you guys from? Female. Best hood. The that's best the best hood. hood? That's a female. That's a little girl back in my That's making my knees hurt, dog. <laughs> no yeah, bro. Shit, I can't even do that shit, bro. Got, got the kids over there playing pogs. You got, you heard of pogs and shit, bro? No, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, shit. Come, let's go check it out. He said oh, pogs. I have no idea what this is, bro. <laughs> it's like one of the games we, we grew up playing, too. Like. Hey, 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 explain them to him. Explain, explain them. Oh, we just hit the pogs. They living in the 90s. I'm not gonna lie, bro. When I seen the line with the clothes on there, that's what that's how we was washing and drying clothes up in the 90s, bro. Right behind the house. With pogs. Let me let y'all know what pogs is, which is dope. So you got pogs, which is these little round plastic things. Some of them is glass, some of them fiberglass, some of them real hard plastic. Anyway. You got those, they call slammers, them the hard ones. This is taking me back, bro. And then you got the regular pogs, they little circles. They got little pictures on them, some of them got money on them, all right? So you would stack the pogs up. They got blank sides and they got a face. A blank side and a face, do you hear me? So I could stack eight pogs up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And with my slammer, my precious slammer, I don't let nobody use. I bought it. I clean it every night. I sleep with it. I take it to school with my backpack. Y'all know the slammers, bro. Anyway, the homie put up eight pogs. Boom, boom, boom. I get my slammer. When I slam it on top of them eight pogs, bam. Whichever one's laying on the face, I get to take those and they mine now. You get what I'm saying? That's how pogs work, bro. Oh, I don't know. Whoever make them all say, win. All right, let me just watch to see if I can figure it out with yeah, context clues. Yeah. Right now, I'm feeling like a moron. The game of Pogs, which actually originated in Hawaii, has been played on the islands ever since its creation, way back in 1927. Various in rule sets exist, but the overarching theme consists of throwing a slammer onto Pogs in an attempt to slammer. flip or move them and eventually take all the Pogs from your opponent. What, what does the winner get? All of these. The whole thing. They plan for the whole stack, bro. That's equivalent to a million dollars in a dice game. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. That's an equivalent. They play. They out there balling with pogs. I'm not lying to y'all. Throwback. They in the 90s. This is what I'm saying. Kids today don't know what pogs is. They don't know what get like me is either. Ghost was get like me. Simple. You get a quarter. I get a quarter. Right. Listen. You get a quarter. I get a quarter. I don't care if it's a dollar. $5, $10, I don't care if it's $100. So you get a quarter and I get a quarter. I'm reiterating this so y'all can play this. Y'all gonna like this game, it's quick money. You just can't be a sore loser when you lose your money, all right? So we like, bro, how much we betting? Shit, nigga, we betting $5, all right, bet. So since we both got a quarter, I'm gonna be like, look, bro, get like me. 
get like me, me. When I flip the quarter, if I if it land on heads, you gotta flip the quarter and it land on heads too. If it land on heads, it's mine because I told you to get like me. On the other hand, I'd be like, look, we betting five. Yeah, all right, we betting five. Cool. I could be like, all right, look, don't get like me, right? So if he flip his coin. I get it. I mean, if I flip my coin, I get heads and he get tails. He didn't get like me, my money. But if he get heads while I get heads, then it's his money because I said, don't get like me. Basically, you telling them what to do. If you say get like me, they have to do it. If they don't, it's they. Throw back games, bro. Throw back games. Don't let me get on the Pokemon cards, bro. Throwback games. What? Got pogs, got marbles. Pogs? Pogs, yeah. I thought that was a Twitch term. Nah, nah. Pogs in the chat? I never heard yeah. no. Am I tripping? No, Twitch, hell no. This is Hawaiian pogs. I'm becoming an educational YouTube channel, bro. We're learning something. If you see this little nigga, bro, better watch out because he might smash your windshield. Shout out to whoever smashed my window two times in Providence, Rhode Island. I know it wasn't him, but maybe it was someone like him. Look, back at it again. Coming straight from Cat 4 Hollywood. We got the Brandon out there getting faded, bro. You want to see how we do it in Maryland? When we get drunk, we hit the gargoyle. We got a gargoyle squad. Oh! What oh, yes. oh, the fuck was this fuck boy? Uh, hey, uh, hey, you better stop! Oh, nigga, you got to get two fucks. Come right back to. Hey, that's how they hit it in Maryland. I'm not even going to lie, bro. He's welcome. That's you kind of fucking. No, what? Gargoyle squad. He, he's welcome no, to the no, barbecue, no, no. man. That, 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 that gargoyle shit is. Uh-uh. Y'all can't do that. My nigga, y'all not y'all not throwing the barbecues. You can't say he walking to the barbecue. That's a black term. Fuck with you Hawaiian heavies, dog. Look, I ain't say nothing about the nigga, 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 nigga. I ain't say nothing about those. But you can't if you you get invited to the barbecue. You you can't invite nobody to something that you get invited to, bro. Not happening. He said he get invited to the barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> That's how they hit it in Maryland. Uh -uh. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. He's welcome. That's to the kind of fucking. No, what? Yeah, there you go, bro. Look at my guy. He like, bro, you tripping? I didn't even see that at first. He like barbecue. Like that's the wrong term, bro. You you doing too much for the camera. We don't say that. He said, bro, what? What you mean barbecue? We Hawaiian. They we got like. All right, all right they they. Damn, what Hawaiians got? All right, black people got chicken. Asians got rice. Mexicans got tacos. Hey, what do white people got? <laughs> what do... Hey, what Hawaiians got? All right, we we'll need this for another. Gargoyle squad. He, he's welcome no, to the barbecue, no, no. man. That, 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 that gargoyle shit is kind of like sus and kind of like weird, bro. To me, that's crazy, bro. That's like pause, bro. But I ain't heard this shit ever in my life. Gargoyle squad? All of a sudden, I hear, yeah, bro, I gargle like that, too. You know, like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Ain't no gargle swab, but we fucking gulp, gulp this shit, bro. They out there no drinking that $8 bottle E&J, bro. They all finna have food, bro. I mean, alcohol poison in the morning. He's like, just drink it regular, bro. If you stay a little bit longer, you see a fat islander tradition, bro. It's called mixing kava. I thought the kava. Yeah. yeah. He's so faded. Cover. Put it in the sack, put it in the water, squeeze that shit out. Ah, yeah, cover. Yeah, cover. This guy. That's why big bro gon' go hop with us. He gonna be up with us when we mix some cover, buddy. You'll be a dragon, bro. Yeah. 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 Hey, brother. <laughs> ain't even. They all be watching this vlog, bro. This is the most exposure they ever got. When it's come out, yeah, they've been watching it ever since. I ain't gonna lie. And it's cool, though, because they don't get that much exposure. They all the way in the back of Hawaii somewhere. I don't know, they have bloods out there. It's cool for them. Let, let them have their shit. Matter! <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's the blah type shit? Like, Going you know? up? Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. a weak stomach, bro. Right here, like, we got, he, he got, like, a pendant of, of the brodies that passed away. Right here, there's, there's three of the brothers. Oh, man, rest in peace. Hell yeah. yeah BSK, BSK to the world blow, man. Not only did Junta welcome us into his neighborhood with open arms, but he is also paving a way for the people of his community to make it out of the hood through their music. Right now he is underground, but if you're watching this and want to support his career as well as the people of Cam 4, check out my two no. favorite songs by him, no, Automatic Until the World Blow. 
Now, let's hear him kick a few bars. Yeah, memory really on some gang shit. I'll make you famous if you slide up in my lane, bitch, from one block to 45. Load the Glock, then you gon' die. See the snakes, they in disguise. Cock. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Nigga, that's just like washing this shit. Bro, that, that's, my, we look my, as buddy as a hood prophet type shit. He, he gonna be the one to make it out and set the path for all the other people that's trying to make that type of music type shit. Hey, right, buddy, low key, bro. Sure, fuck these niggas, bro. They know what time we are. We on shadow clock, bro. You know what it is? These niggas don't do what we do. Shot, uh, these shot, niggas don't know what shot, it is. Shot, 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 you know what shot. it is, bro? Count for Hollywood. <laughs> Slap. He ain't have nothing to say. They don't know what it is. They don't know what it is, man. They don't know what it is. You know what it is, bro? Look at him. Look at him. He don't know they what it is. You know what time we on? We're on Shadow Clock, bro. You know what it is? These niggas don't do what we do. Ah, oh, these shot, niggas don't know what shot. it is. Shot, 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 You know what it is, bro? <laughs> Count for Hollywood. Slap your bitch ass, nigga. B, B, G, yeah. You yeah, can yeah, do B, it like G. this, too. You know like that? Like that? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Is this gonna, get me, is this gonna get me killed? No. And you go like this right after. Down, you throw it down, bro. You throw it down. Are you guys throwing the rakes? Yeah, we're throwing it down, though. Come on, bro. Put, 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 oh, no, this one up. Yo, right there, bro. No, no, no. You, you throw it up, we throw it down, bro. Please don't hurt me. I'm a good kid, don't hurt me. You don't know how disrespectful that is, bro. If he knowing what it is and then they see you doing it again, I'm a good kid, don't hurt me. This Gang banging ain't like it used to be. Niggas standing on the corner, blue rags, red rags, hanging out the pockets. As soon as they see you with the opposite color of their hood, where you from, and all, it ain't like that no more. You still got them fools out there that's like that, but I'm talking about as far as the whole hood pushing that line, it's not like that no more, bro. I say that to say this. Even though it's not like that, you still got the fools out there that will smoke you for this in their hood. They don't care who you are, especially if you're playing with it. You want to vlog on YouTube with it, they will smoke you, bro. Brandon, that's who they beefing with. But mind you, if that hood catch you anywhere by yourself, they feel like they got the right to violate you, bro. They told you that it was disrespectful. They told you it was this is somebody's hood and you kept on doing it. That's Whether you game bang or not, you diss a hood. If you get something coming your way that's fucked up, you got to deal with the consequences, bro. You got to deal with them. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. <laughs> See? I'm a good kid, don't hurt me. See, you gotta hey, throwing up gentle gang signs. We live signs. on channel six, bro. <laughs> we live on channel six, bro. Oh, we got Brody in the Henny. No. Hey, Henny, anything is possible. Ah! Hey, up, bro. <laughs> come on, Go, bro. come on. Full time, full time. Do we do we do type shit? Hey, my Brody live. He live, huh? After a few hours of getting to know the people of Cam Four, we walk to the memorial site of their close friend Starsky Willie who in 2019 was gunned down right there in their neighborhood at only 16 years old. You know, we out here, we got the body, body spot down here. You know, that's where one of the homies he passed away. This Star Lane, caught his bitch Star Lane. R.P. the bro, you know, Star Boy, you know, R.P. Brody. Mm -hmm. We had his spot, you know, so respect. Pour one for the Brody, you know, that's what he... Imagine, bro. We in the United States, up in the States now. I know, I know Hawaii a part of us now, but that's how I know it's not too much that go on like that. Because when you do that type of shit and put a tombstone and make it look like really like a gravesite, bro, when a homie gets smoked, you gotta do that for all the homies to get smoked. It don't look like a cemetery around there. That's how I know that's the only fool that got smoked. Now, bring it back to the States. If we did that, oh my God. The apartments would be vacant, bro. The block would be vacant. Imagine how many tombstones would be in your neighborhood, bro. Or in your projects. It would look like a graveyard, like a cemetery walking to work, walking to school to get something to eat, bro. Walking to the bus stop. That right there is crazy to me. That is kind of crazy to me. I ain't even gonna lie. That would, that's, I can understand the candlelight and all that, but the, the, 
that's kind of crazy to me. I ain't gonna lie. Rest in peace to him. I'm not disrespecting him. I'm just talking about I ain't never seen nothing like that, bro. That's that's crazy to me. He took his last breath right here. Fuck that nigga who killed him, bro. On Is that he got shot over there, but Brody had enough, you know, energy to run. All the way down right there, he fell down, and the homies picked him up. Came over here. RP baby, RP the Brodies. And there's a lot of unseen shit. There's a lot of shit I can't, you know, talk about, but we good. It's understood, you know, we know what it is, bro. To the Brody, but you already know we catching bodies for y'all niggas, bro. Man, hey, hey, you gotta talk about that. He seemed like this a little rock. Start up with throw it down. Fuck all you fuckers. Double digits on our mind, nigga. What do you yeah. want to be when you grow up? Trying to be like big bro right here. Be better, better bro. you know? Shoot father. Shoot father. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's when he came right back like, no, nah, bro, you don't want to be like me. They both young, so I understand they don't know what they talking about, I know what they saying. But if somebody told me they wanted to be like me, and I knew I was out here gang banging on hood vlogs, I would have told them right then and there, like, you don't want to be like me, bro. If you want to be like that, then you ain't really got too much to listen to. Yes, he might be older than you in age, but as far as living life and reality, he ain't that much ahead of you. And to keep it real, the younger fool got much of a head start for the simple fact he's still young. He get the... Damn, that's crazy. Hell yeah. I know this ain't as worse as old black, but we'll make it worse as old black. No, 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 no. I don't think it's cool to like be more violent. I think it's cool to have like a nice yeah, community yeah, yeah, and everything, like be thriving and making money and just killing it in that gen in that regard. You know where I'm from, bro? Like, nobody get along. Everybody cave, bro. For real, like we, yeah, we get some connects here and there, but other than that, nigga, bro, everybody's cave, bro. For Why do you think real? that is? I think that is because niggas hate us. You feel me? I don't know, they cannot funk with us, you feel me? Cause we funk hey, different, hey, bro. Hey, hey, little demon. The way we funk, nigga, man, we hey, fucking funk till we, nigga, we, man, I don't even know, but BG don't play, bro. If you wanna die, you can die, nigga. If you wanna live, oh well, it is what it is, you feel me? Do your thing, man. Just don't, yeah, would, just don't yeah. cut. I'd like to do my thing and live. Hey, you know, everybody die one day, but it's, it's about what you leave behind, you know? It's what you, it's what you do, you know? Straight up. So I handle your, your issue, boy. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, I'm a gangster till I die, nigga. It's BG, nigga. Fuck everybody's yeah, shit of, out there, man. What kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? Man, I want to leave a legacy that my youngest just look up to me and just look like, damn. I want to be like homie right there. One G. You feel me? Like, I'm a gang. But what legacy you want to leave behind, though? You didn't even answer the question. You didn't even answer the question, bro. But like, damn. I want to be like homie right there. One G. You feel me? Like, I'm a gangster, bro. I, I live to this shit, bro. I die to this shit. I don't give a fuck. Dog, I don't care, bro. Like, really, really, bro, man. I love everybody, but if niggas want some smoke, man, they can get it, bro. Like, we don't play around, bro. Man, y'all come visit Camp 4, y'all gonna die. Y'all come with disrespect, y'all gonna die. Bro, fuck everybody out there, bro. On nah, gang. Bro. Hey. Yeah, we, we all. Fuck that killing shit. We, it's love, bro. Hawaii <laughs> got the most yeah, dirtiest, dirtiest cops out here. I tell you that, bro. They got a, bro, they got a whole unit called, you know, the Goon Squad. It's the undercovers. Fuck y'all niggas, bro. And not even get sent to jail. No, straight up, bro. I'm telling you, Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii got the most thirtyish cops out here. Straight up, you know. Hey, bro, fuck twelve, though. Fuck twelve. Like me, out of my like mindset and shit, bro. We just trying to paint a better picture for these young, the youth, you know. Do better, you know. If we can do it, they look up to it. Like shit, we can do bro, it too, just you know. For straight the up. It's we love, respect. We stand on, we stand on business, you know. Shit, he look, he look, he look lit as fuck, bro. <laughs> 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 Oh, he off that yak. While filming this video, I had Bro, a that was e and, and although they told me about the tragedies yet. that had occurred nearby, I was pretty relaxed the Friday night that I spent there. But only an hour or so after I left, a gunman came through and fired shots right where I had been doing interviews, resulting in a member of the community having to be hospitalized. Thankfully, he survived, but this Man. is just one of the many acts of violence that plague the area and the surrounding community. I was surprised to hear shots. They must have heard he was over there, bro. They must have heard he was over there. Shots were fired so soon after me leaving, and I really feel lucky to not have been caught in the crossfire. Here's the news clip from that incident. Honolulu police have opened an attempted murder investigation after a man was shot in Kalihi. It happened on Kalaunu Street just before 1.30 a.m. According to EMS, a 27-year-old suffered a gunshot wound and was taken to the hospital in critical condition. 
Police say no arrests have been made and no details on a suspect. Finally, if any of you guys out there want to keep up with Junta and Cam 4, follow him on Instagram and check out his YouTube, all of which will be linked in the description of this video. As always, the extended cut is on Patreon, and if you want to buy the cold-ass riding jersey that I'm wearing in this episode, visit the buckinghamshop.com today. Me too. I'm going to get at y'all. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, bro. Till next time. 100.